What's crack a lacking gamers? It's hey your guys. boy. We're making bread, but bad. This is Gabe. He's gonna help me and he will be our taste tester. So basically the idea is that bread is nothing more than flour, yeast, water, and maybe like salt and sugar to taste. But if you substitute the water for something else like say Gatorade, it should still work at least in theory. So today we will be making a very large quantity of very cursed bread with different drinks and sauces being replacements for water. We have barbecue, sheets, fountain lemonade, mango loco monster, Morbius G fuel powder, Baja Blast, maple syrup, maple syrup. coffee, like we got we got some crazy bread that we're gonna make here. Let's get bread and let's, we, we, we should do the fun Oops. snap thing. We should do the fun snap thing. We're back and it's the same place, but now there's different stuff here. The first thing we're gonna be making is Gatorade bread, red Gatorade bread, because I saw a post about somebody doing it and they said it was good. So we're doing it now because we have nothing better to do. So look at this great recipe. This is so you, you could do it at home with us if you really want to. I'd wait till after we try this stuff at the end to, to determine whether you want to make Baja bread. I have a really bad feeling about Sweet Baby Ray's bread. Sweet Baby Ray's bread is probably going to put one of us in a hospital. Probably me. <laughs> so one and one fourth cup of flour, three fourths teaspoons of sugar, three eighths teaspoons of yeast, three eighths teaspoons of salt, and one half cup of our fun liquid of choice, which today is, or right now, we're doing all of these. Uh, I right now it's Gatorade. Sugar, dog. What do you think the big is? What do you think the huge is? Let's get this going. Let's so, get this bread. One. <laughs> <laughs> Open. <laughs> why did you do that? Why would Why would you do it like that? It's open. Bread. 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 That was terrifying. One and one fourth cup. That's how the pros do it. Gordon Ramsay. If you're watching. That's how That's how meth heads do it. They're pros. They're professionals have, have, have in a you, different way. Have you watched Breaking Bad? Pizza pasta. We should make pizza. Wacky pizza. If this video gets four likes, then maybe we do another one. Maybe of these. we do fun cooking with Gabe again. Okay. Let's move that. We need three fourths teaspoons of sugar. This is thunderstorm watch for our location. Great. We'll have bread to weather the storm. Yeah. Imagine the power goes out halfway through. Dude. Cooking. Imagine. Yeah, I love the how America the power just goes out. Sometimes, yeah. And now we need yeast and salt. Yeast. Yeast. You are alive, but soon you will die. <laughs> Rise, Rise, bread. Rise, yeast. Salt. Now that we have the uh, the basic ingredients in the thing, we gotta mix, kind of. No. Shouldn't we mix it before we add the, the fun liquid? That's true. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Give me that. Here we go. And then I'm gonna keep mixing while you add it. Ooh. Oh, it's red. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Oh, that's yucky. <laughs> get that in there. Yeah, get that. Oh. oh, we might need more. Isn't bread, don't you gotta have like it all in one? Yeah, doesn't it need to kind of be in like one piece? Okay, let's, yeah, let's do <laughs> This feels like dough. Yeah. Like bad. It smells kind of good though. It smells like red Gatorade, Johnny. It smells like bread and also red Gatorade. This is how the pros do it. They put it in ball. Put, put a splash more Gatorade in there. How much is a splash? You'll know. Follow your heart. Follow your dreams. A little more. Sure? There we go. Yeah. Oh no, that was a mistake. We should not have done that. D you did I just did what you told me to do. I can't believe you, you listened to me. That was I mistake can't number one. You told me to do that. Can you move the knife and hands. cup? <laughs> Neither of us have ever made bread in our lives. I think we might have put too much Gatorade in it. I think we did. Dude. You're the one who told me to put more in it. <laughs> this is what they do at the Kids' Choice Awards. This is your fault. This is what they this throw is, on this you. This is all you. This is the slime. This is all you. Gatorade bread is so scuffed right now. I don't know, dude. This is gonna go hard. <laughs> I'm just gonna pop it down. Master Bakers, Johnny and Gabe. <laughs> I'm gonna cut to when I cleaned my hands now. My hands are clean now. Now Gatorade was one loaf out of 15. The process of making this bread took us basically the entire day. So instead of boring you with each individual loaf of bread, I'm just gonna briefly go over each one that we made and some of the expectations that we had for it. We got Baja bread, ba ba bread. Baja Blast. I just got it all over the floor. 
Right. That there was no point in doing that. Gabe, let's speed run this. All right. All right. You let's do get the to you do the yeast and the salt. I'll do the flour and the sugar. Let me get my hand dry. Too late. I'm already going. So for the Baja Blast bread, we expected a little bit of flavor, but something we noticed as we put it in, something with the carbonation seemed to react with something in the mix. Either that, or we're just stupid, and that's just what it does when you pour it. Dude, this is just foaming up. Uh, it's a carbonated liquid! And the texture of mixing it felt like a root beer float, I guess, is the best way to describe that. More! It's a little hole. Put some in the, in the little... Next was the orange Gatorade. Ryan or the Gatorade gets it! Yeah. Oh, we're putting the liquid in first. You're so bad at this. Red. I also got blue and yellow, but the yellow was lemonade and not like lemon lime, the classic piss flavor that we all know and love. And as I mentioned earlier, we already had a fountain cup of lemonade, so oops. For each of these, I didn't expect much flavor, but they were all noticeably not bread colored. The blue turned green for some reason, but the lemonade at least looked bread-esque. But those were the least ambitious flavors of our baking experiment, because the next was the ultraviolet monster. Next. For this one, I hope there would at least be like some hint of flavor in it because for me, it's one of my favorite monsters, despite Gabe saying that it is in fact the worst one. So everybody type Gabe is wrong in the comments. I have all the power. He doesn't. Don't type Johnny is wrong. Then you'd be wrong. I also hope that this one would somehow give me like energy throughout the day, like as a replacement for the drink, even though it was only like a fifth of the can. But with that, our first tray of bread was complete. And while those dough boys were rising, we went on to the next few ambitious flavors. My camera ran out of space and stopped recording for some of the next few flavors here. So um, I guess you just have to believe that we made these. We, I mean, we have the bread at the end to prove it, but I guess just trust me. We had Dr. Pepper, which I thought might complement the bread with at least one of its 23 unique flavors. Then we had the Coconut Hawaiian Punch, and I don't even know why I got this one. Neither of us like coconut. So I guess we just have to suffer for the content. And I only realized this as we poured it in because it smelled very coconut heavy because I had thought that it was like a Gatorade white cherry situation where it was like white but was like actually a, a good flavor and not coconut. Next was Cotton Candy Fago, one that I expected to at least have a little taste because Fago itself has a very strong sugary flavor. Like if you've never had Fago, imagine if 7-Eleven slushy wasn't a slushy but like was in liquid form, that's pretty much how strong it is. And by this point we figured out that the camera was out of space and took a short break before trying to speed run the next few breads because Gabe had a family emergency that he needed to leave for in 15 minutes. Judging by that timer, we have less than 15 minutes. Bread. Donkeys! Dunkin' Donuts. For these, we used vanilla Dunkin' Donuts coffee, which Gabe was the most excited for because he has the mind of a basic white girl. Then we did a loaf of the Mango Loco Monster and a loaf of Major Melon Mountain Dew. Really, we were looking for as many ways to find flavor in this bread, so we were trying a little bit of everything. And we were pretty excited to try the bread that we had made thus far, but what we were not excited for were the breads that we were about to make. <laughs> Gabe finished up everything that he had to do while we let the bread rise. And when we got back to work later in the evening, we decided it was time to make the nasty bread. The first of the nasty bread was the Morbius G Fuel Bread. Since we already used lemonade raid, we decided to use the Sheets Lemonade for the base of the powder and then threw in a serving of Jared Leto's contractually obligated G Fuel flavor. Of all the nasty breads, this one has probably the least percent chance of being absolutely horrible. The next was maple syrup, which could be good in theory. This isn't no like Aunt Jemima. This is the real deal. But we had no idea whether or not it would actually turn into bread form or not. With the goopy, sticky nature of maple syrup, we figured it would be probably closer to like a cookie or a cracker than a bread. But regardless, we just went with it. It feels like sad. Finally, we had the absolute worst of them. Our next ingredient. <laughs> Sweet baby rays. You I'm not looking what? forward to this one. Uh, this is the one I was looking forward to the least. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh no. This is awful. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. This is just awful. Oh no, I gotta get in that. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> I bet that consistency is just amazing. <laughs> this is unpleasant. Watch it be really good. Watch it be just the best bread you've ever had. I don't want it to be good, but I have the feeling that it might because it's sweet baby rings. We need to put more in. <laughs> I mean, at least we won't overdo the barbecue sauce. That's a good thing. <laughs> this is 
very enjoyable. Yeah, I hopefully. This is extremely. It better be. <laughs> I think we reached the perfect consistency of barbecue to flour. Show it to the camera. Show it to the camera. <laughs> the other camera. <laughs> Watch it be good. Watch it be good. I'm gonna be so mad if this tastes good. <laughs> this is like a fun projectile. Fun barbecue flavored projectile. <laughs> Watch I miss it lands on the floor. And with all of them done, we also gathered a, a makeshift piece of bread from the remnants of leftover dough that we had on the pan after we like prepared it to go into the oven. So this was just like a, a little bonus little snack that honestly, we weren't sure if it was gonna taste ju just like normal bread or be like a weird combination of everything that's just terrible. But with all the breads complete, we let them rise a little bit more and then threw them all in the oven. That is definitely bread. This is definitely bread. And with the first batch of bread done, it was finally time for the taste test. I had not eaten anything all day, so I would be filling my gut with nothing but bread. We're gonna start off with the red. Red. Mine, mine came out kind of scuffed. It's definitely red. It's definitely like, like get it, get, get a look at that. Mega red. Red. Let's let's toast it. Let's toast it. It tastes like bread. It tastes like bread. It's really good bread. It's good bread. I think the only residual trace of the Gatorade is the color. <laughs> I feel like that's gonna be the case with all of the Gatorades. The bread is so refreshing though. Mm -hmm. Packed with electrolytes. <laughs> this is a Baja black bread. It smells a little baja -y. I smell. I smell like a slight bit of like the, the like I smell the lime. tropical fruit. I yeah. smell the lime. Let's give this one a bite. I can taste it in that one. There's definitely like a fruity flavor in this. That's actually really good. <laughs> That's really good. The Gatorade bread was pretty much just bread. This, this is enhanced bread. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this one. It is purple monster. It smells like grape. <laughs> Let's give it a go. I like that. That's not bad. It's like peanut butter and jelly. This tastes like bread with grape jelly already in it. Put some peanut butter on that. This is so good. Why is this good? <laughs> this really should be good. I'm excited for this next one. This is the orange Gatorade. This is the orange Gatorade. Let's give it a go. I can taste a little bit of the orange. It's not bad. Yeah, it's like a citrusy apple. It's a really just, it's really subtle. Why are they so good? Why did our disaster breads turn into good bread? Next up we have the blue. We have the blue Gatorade, which turned green. I'm excited for this. I do like blue, I do like me some blue Gatorade. Blue Gatorade's the best Gatorade. I got some of the yeast. <laughs> I taste no blue, only bread. This one just tastes like bread. It's good, it's good bread. Right. We have the lemonade Gatorade flavor. Probably just gonna taste like bread again. The Gatorade so far pretty much just tastes like bread. Other than the orange, which had a tiny bit of flavor. So. Smells like bread. Tastes like bread. This one's bread. This one's bread. For the next few, we actually lost track of them. We thought this first one was gonna be the coconut, but it's actually the mango local monster one. And we, I, I don't know how we mixed that up, but we did. This might be the mango one. We may have yeah, forgotten no, some. This is definitely the mango one. <laughs> this is 100% the mango one. This one's good. Yeah, I like this. The mango one is really good. The monster ones have been so good. So I'm assuming this one is the coconut then. Last this one is one. it. The one that we thought was Dr. Pepper's coconut. Give it a, give it a whiff. This one? Yeah. Yup. That is coconut. Yeah, that's coconut bread. So if you if you like coconut, then like yeah, that's some that's some good bread. That had an effect for Next sure. Next one. This one's the major melon uh, Mountain Dew. Does not smell very melony. This is definitely on team bread. This is team bread. Team Easily, bread. this is bread. There's like a slight sweet undertone. This is just bread. Yeah, it's not like this the bread, coconut. Put it a little bit pink. It's really just like less healthy bread. Next, we got the cotton candy fago bread. I'm excited for this. I smell bread. I smell bread too. We're about to find out. This is another team bread. This is bread. This is bread. This is bread. bread. Shrek themed birthday party. Perfect. Tastes like bread. Your niece will love it. I wonder what, what, which one of the 23 flavors we're gonna get in the oh, top. Which, which one of the 23 <laughs> flavors are we gonna find? The bad ones. The barbecue sauce. Tastes part. like pepper. Well, there's barbecue sauce in Dr. Pepper. If we bread. eat the Dr. Pepper bread and it tastes the same as the barbecue sauce bread, I'm gonna be a little mad. Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper. There's a little bit of sweetness in here. No definable Dr. Pepper flavor. A little bit of the sweet side. It's pretty good. So I got the butt end. I can taste some of the coffee from the next one. <laughs> like if somebody told me this was just bread, I'd be like, okay. But if somebody told me this was Dr. Pepper bread, I'd also be like, oh, yeah. That makes sense. Look, it's a nice taste. Now, the moment we've been waiting for. The moment I've been waiting for. Gabe's all day. The coffee bread. Smelling it, it smells, smells like French vanilla dunks. It dunks. smells like French vanilla Dunkin'. So let's. 
My mouth is still full of the Dr. Pepper, but... It tastes like coffee. Well, that's what I was hoping for. They should sell that at, like, Starbucks. That's good. Coffee is a 10 out of 10 recommendation for me. I love this. This is so good. I could eat the whole loaf. That's this so weird. This one tastes weird. like coffee, but the that's other so one's it's, it's, like it, it is, it, it's coffee flavored bread. That's what it is. Don't expect more. Don't expect less. That's good bread. Now, one thing that we did not consider was that since barbecue and maple syrup are sauces, they might not have the necessary liquidity to properly rise. Had we had the the foresight to maybe mi mix in just a, a spritz of water, just a little a little dab of water, maybe they would have turned out a little bit better. But these bad boys were hard on the outside and gooey on the inside, not in a good way, in a probably E. coli waiting to happen way. We finished the bread, okay? We have four more to eat. Breads. Four more to go. This is the barbecue. This is the barbecue, which I, I wasn't excited to eat this to begin with, th seeing that it is barbecue sauce. <laughs> I am very not excited for this. Bot bottoms up, I guess. I'm just gonna take a piece. Clink, clink. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm taking a piece too. I'm taking a tiny I'm taking little. just like a bit of the side. Oh. Clink it up. I mean, it tastes like barbecue sauce. That is not pleasant. It's not pleasant. But it tastes like Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. That's for sure. If you love Sweet Baby Ray's honey barbecue sauce, don't even do it. It's not worth it. Don't make this. That was awful. Ugh, I took too big of a piece. <laughs> Have you ever had a piece of chicken that was like so dry that the only way to save it is to just drench it in barbecue sauce and then like halfway through, you just opened your mouth and you started like suckling from the bottle of Sweet Baby Ray's. That's about like a tenth of what this experience is. That was awful. Like, it was look, really look at it. Bad. Look at it. Ew. I had expectations. I thought, you know what? This sounds like it's gonna be terrible, but it might be one of those things where, you know what? It's it sounded good. terrible and it was terrible. Now, next up, this one will probably be hopefully a little bit better. This one is the maple syrup. The same thing happened. This is all dough in the middle. That is hopefully that is uncooked. Yeah, it, it just it just could it wouldn't rise. Like we let it out for like two hours almost, oh, wow. and it just did not rise. It smells good. It smells like maple syrup. Tastes like maple syrup. I'm not complaining about that. It's it actually really good. The taste is good. If you ever have like maple maple candy? Yeah, yeah. It tastes like that, but like more oh, bread. That's... It <laughs> tastes good. It tastes great. It's just the fact that it's not cooked that makes it inedible. Almost like a cinnamon toast, kind of. Yeah, it's good. It's actually really good, but like I, I won't eat this for the fear of getting E. coli. The mixture of all the of them, bread. the mega bread, omega bread. It's bread. It's bread. It's bread. It tastes like bread. It kind of got a hint of everything. But like not much of a hint. Mostly bread. Morbius bread. Morbius bread. This one smells really heavy, like mango. And this guy's a fiend for mango. Mango best fruit. I love mango. Let's get one final clink on this. That's good. That one's good. That's good we bread. did it. We ate all the breads. Yeah. We ate all the bread. We made all the breads. I am sick. It has been seven hours. As you can tell, we were very uh, done with bread at this point, but to conclude the video, I've decided to rank every bread from barbecue to best. At number 15, we obviously have barbecue, followed by coconut, because although I think this one turned out really good, I just don't like coconut. It's just coconut bread, and if you don't like coconut, then like it's, it's L bread. And the next five here were pretty much just normal bread, so they're in no particular order. Number eight is the maple syrup, because because even though it did taste really good, the problem with it was that it really didn't come out that great. Had we made it into like a cookie or something, maybe it would have been higher up. But this is a bread video and not a cookie video, so no shot. Number seven was the Major Melon, followed by Orange Gatorade. Both of these were still pretty much just normal bread, but they did have that tiny little hint, that tiny little flare of flavor that really just made them stand out. Next is the Baja Blast, which had a, a pleasant fruity flavor that was pretty faint, but a good addition. At number four, surprisingly, we have the Morbin G Fuel because it tasted like Morbius G Fuel. Since we're using the powder, it was very strong. It isn't something I use to make like a BLT, but it is a great way to consume caffeine. Imagine eating a loaf of bread and just being wired. I wanna try that with like guacamole gamer fart or something. Coming in at number three, we have the Mango Monster. This one was pretty much just a better version of the Baja Blast and not as extreme as the G Fuel. And in second place is the Purple Monster. It's just pre-made bread with jelly already in it. So like if you're making 
making PB and J's. It's literally half the work already done. As a kid, I never actually liked peanut butter. So I literally just eat a sandwich with just jelly in it. So like just going for these plain is honestly a good fly. And finally, number one is the coffee bread. This is something I could literally see being sold at like a coffee shop in like muffin form or like as like a panini or something weird like that. Coffee cake already exists and it's great for all the Starbucks loving white girls that you know. So if you want to impress a girl that, that loves going to Starbies, this is the way, at least I'd assume as uh, somebody who uh, does not have. Anyway, with that being said, I hope to see you in the next one.